peek inside the Pequot Trailer Home. Built by Rocky Mountain Tiny Houses, the Pequot Trailer Home looks like the cross between a gypsy caravan and Noah's Ark. While the exterior is all light-hearted whimsy, however, the interior is a masterpiece of spatial ingenuity, given this home with the roller coaster roof line and the footprint of 221 square feet has been designed to accommodate a family of four. That's a tall order for a short house, let alone one that's only 8 feet 6 inches wide, 13 feet 6 inches tall and 26 feet long. This is the amount of space that many would consider adequate for a living room or maybe a master bedroom. But the Pequod designers have outsmarted a few laws of nature here, partly by hiding storage spaces and by placing boxes within boxes, which allows many of the home's features to serve at least two purposes. For example, here is a stowaway dining room. The table has two wings to extend the width and the bench on the right easily doubles as a coffee table. Of course, the two chairs on the left are actually storage boxes. Here's the dining room tucked away. Owners of small homes are space misers, just like Mole and Kenneth Graham's The Wind in the Willows. Everything here and everything in its place. Mole's friend the water rat said emphatically and reassuringly, when the famous friend stumbled across Mole's home on an outing. Here are two other space savers Mr. Rat and Mr. Mole would appreciate stairs with tuck away storage nooks and tall, Roll-out drawers in the kitchen pantry. A family of four without a washer and dryer or a sunny bathroom? Not even thinkable. This kitchen is all about simplicity and utility. Note the pantry next to the full-sized refrigerator and generously sized freezer. The storage space under the sink has curtains instead of cabinet doors that would be impractical. But the joy of this kitchen is largely elsewhere, it doesn't take up an inch more space than necessary which allows more room for the rest of the home. And here are two of the home's best features, the feel of the bedrooms underneath the rolling roof is very spacious. Perpetually wiggling kids, after all, need more than an absolute minimum of space. They need a little elbow room, so that they can be be active, bouncing kids once in a while. Here's one of the loft bedrooms. Here is the other. The two bedrooms are separated by this ingenious welded steel and plexiglass catwalk that does not sacrifice the feeling of a tall ceiling for those who are downstairs. Here is an extra view of the whimsical exterior, which includes a small porch that helps cover up the trailer chassis. And who wants to look at a bare chassis, anyway? The back end with exterior storage space underneath a bay window like this home? Be sure to share it with family and friends.